All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Uh, we're here straightway. Brother Brett, is there a man in the gate? Uh, he's been working very hard today, filling up raised beds. Um, we got some blocks being delivered here, and the purpose is because um, we, we decided to not go with the wood chips uh, any longer simply because you know there's a supply and demand issue but however what we're doing is we're starting to move everything to raised beds and we're using the blocks for a lot of raised beds we took that ride to the book of Owl. now but these blocks that are coming here is because over here i'm actually framing up and I know many of you will say, what in the world is that? Well, that is what you call an extremely large chicken coop. <laughs> it's going to be a chicken coop, and we'll try to keep you abreast of it. Now, I want, for those of you out there that are interested in building, um, normally what you would do is have a quarter-inch fall for water uh, every foot. And I know it, it doesn't look like it because everything is to grade right now, but uh, it, it is true. It's all square. The building is square. From one corner to the next corner, and from this corner to that corner, it's square. And this end down here is actually 10 inches higher than this end down here. And there's a reason for that. You won't be able to see it with the naked eye, and by the time we get finished with the building, you won't be able to tell. But since we're going to have water in this coop right here, we're going to actually, it's, it's a sanitary thing. And of course, in the front end of this pad right here, is one inch higher than the front end of that pad. Now we could, or the back end of that pad, and we could have went at a greater level, but since we already had the water all running this way anyway, for sanitary purposes, when we clean, um, it, it wouldn't make any difference. Now these blocks are here because I'm gonna actually go up two courses high, and we're gonna put a, a metal building, kinda like that one right there, dead center of this particular building right here and going up two courses high we'll be able to spray water in there and keep it pretty sanitary because anybody knows um, chickens and the chicken uh, coop is they're pretty nasty creatures uh, they're pretty vile but yet that yard bird is diverse and everybody loves it um, and of course the guy that's delivering the blocks over here for this is going to be putting two stacks of blocks over here because we're going to be putting a raised bed up over here as well and this raised bed is going to be in front of the clothesline uh, we're putting food everywhere pastor dollar is not trying to cut grass all this grass uh, of course there are goats i mean you saw that today just trying to show y'all what we're doing here and how busy we've been here in the street. It's crazy. It's crazy. There's a lot to do. There really truly is. There's a lot to do. Always is. But we're trying to get to a particular point to where we're not really spending so much money um, on constant building materials, you know, out, out here. Uh, and doing things certain ways because uh, I mean things are getting very expensive and one reason why that we chose to go the actual raised bed route um, Is because gas prices you never know when they're going to uh, fluctuate again And of course tractors takes diesel and now diesel is outperforming regular gasoline in price nowadays and I'm a thinking man. I'm trying to think and do everything I can to cut costs every which way that I can because things are getting expensive. The dollar is losing its purchasing power and it ain't really worth too much or nothing. And we just can't continue to keep uh, funding out Federal Reserve notes um, as things continue to keep going up in price. Um, but anyway, I only make these videos to inspire, to bring about an inspiration for those of you out there uh, who have the vision because without the vision the people perish for those of you who have a vision to understand what's going on uh it would be an inspiration to you and hopefully that you'll be able to see what i'm saying all right but anyway hey y'all have a wonderful day king coming so